funding for this video is brought to you by viewers like you. Thank you. and welcome to a video. If you're new here, hello, my name is Allie. I moved to Belgium about seven years ago and I've been here ever since, surviving, thriving, vibing, and trying to figure out my life ever since. <laughs> Around these parts, we celebrate my identity and try and balance daily life alongside disability, so hello, welcome. I have to admit, I have been overworking myself a little bit too much. I've been girl bossing way too close to the sun. And on top of that, my routines have been altered and on top and on top of that, as you have seen, we have moved house. And so there's just a lot of newness attacking my senses. Even though it's very positive, positive newness. I'm very excited. I'm very grateful. It's wonderful. It's just a lot. She's processing. <laughs> so I've been having a lot more meltdowns than I usually do. There's been a lot of crying. There's been a lot of bad health days and nights. But in today's vlog, we're going to try and settle those waters, dive into that self-care, and ultimately, as always, try to slow down even though we are so, 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 so bad at it. <laughs> we'll dive into the wonderful world of crocheting for the first time. Get some reading done. Start that first week of school. And also in the footage for this vlog, we have launching the new shirt designs, which let's talk about them real fast right now. In case you missed it, last week, two snazzy shirts that I designed with my own two hands are available for pre-order now. For a limited time until May 22nd. This means that every shirt that is ordered will have a loving home, so we're limiting on waist, which we love. We brought back the There's No Rush shirt, which has the snail design on the front and the new edition is the little victories line that reminds us to give ourselves credit for even the smallest of things in life. And on the back we have this big beautiful strawberry snail design that says celebrate mundanities because that's what we do here on this channel. What inspired these designs was my autism diagnosis that I got a little shy of a year ago. So I love to celebrate and draw snails as a friendly little slimy reminder <laughs> to focus on my own path and take my time every day. And since I got such a wealth of understanding after getting this diagnosis, I really want to spread the wealth, spread that knowledge. And so 10% of the profits from all of these shirts will go to the Autism Self-Advocacy Network, which is an organization for autistic folks by autistic folks. With this spring launch, we have two fun colors added into the mix, as well as two options for sweatshirts. The colors go up to 3XL and everything else goes up to 5XL. I've been asked this so many times, so I'll say it here now. Every shirt from this drop that you'll see me wearing, I got in an extra large, except for the Little Mondanities gray sweatshirt, which I got in a 2XL. I'm also five foot two inches for context. I hope that helps. There's that. <laughs> and that's all the info. Snatching up if you want, if you can, if you'd like, while you still can. Keep this cozy corner or the internet alive, send some money along to a great cause, everybody wins, and I think that's all the business we need to cover. Let's dive right into the vlog. Break! Morning. I'm already stressed out. Let me tell you why. On this blessed Sunday, I thought it would be nice to finally make my best friend Alex's birthday present. Breathing heavy already. She loves radishes and I wanted to crochet her a radish because she made me these adorable mushroom bookends. You see these? So cute. So I wanted to make her something so cute, so homemade, so personalized, so nice. The thing is, the only thing that I've ever made out of yarn was this not even a rectangle rectangle. I knitted it and it's flat. <laughs> Somehow I've convinced myself that I can crochet her a 3D radish with three different colors Despite the fact that I've never crocheted. Honey, I hear crocheting is easier. I hear it's way more relaxing You've got a big storm. I have found a video. Coming. Make 20 chains. What does that mean? What is a DC in next 6 CH HDC? What is this code? Nick Cage, Da Vinci Code. He, that's not the right movie. <laughs> I'm not relaxed. <laughs> I'm very overwhelmed. For this tutorial, I'm going to use some worsted weight acrylic yarn. I'll check in later. The fact that you're watching me is stressing me out even more. <laughs> Something's happening. <laughs> Can I tell you what I'm doing? Absolutely not. Yarn is stressful. Don't look at me. Leaf. <laughs> it's tragic. <laughs> Oh, I just 
got back from the gym. I've been out of my gym game for a little over a month now. School got crazy, moving got crazy. But what I'm gonna try and do from here on out is remember that going to the gym isn't this luxury thing. It's a necessity for my well-being. It's the second time that I've gone this week and I'm already feeling so much more alive and like myself. It is so annoying how right all the doctors and influencer girlies were when they said how good exercise is for your mental health. I've been talking about this with my friend Kirsty ad nauseum because we're so mad about it. So this is your sign. If you want to get back into your wiggly moving self, they're there for you. They're waiting. They're not mad that you haven't done it in a while. Your body and brain will thank you. This has been an update. Bye-bye. It's morning, everyone. Today's the day. The sun is shining. The tank is clean. And we are getting out of... <gasps> the tank is clean. The tank is clean! I am just anxiously pacing around my apartment. Hello? Because I have a call with a merch company that I work with. It's gonna be official and it's going to happen. And these are going to be available for pre-order. And I'm so excited, but I'm so nervous. It's gonna be a beautiful sunny day. And so I wanna finish my work before this call so that I can sit outside and read, but I can't focus on my work because of this call. I'm so excited, I'm so scared. Back to pacing in the hallway. It's time, it's time, it's time, it's time. I'm freaking out. Okay, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening. We did it, 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 we did it. The shop is live, 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 the shop is live. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, I'm all alone with all this excitement. This is huge. I can't believe it. Thank you so much for being here. Now I have to keep this a secret all weekend. What is your problem? day of school. I am so tired. I am unwell. So this is what happened. My health has been a nightmare lately. We recently did this really big move. I had final exams. Just too much stacked on top of each other. Think of a back-to-back -back special at Naked Night, but worse. <laughs> And so my sleep has been garbage. Neck and head pain has been garbage. We've been getting migraines again. It's just been, it's just been too much. And so I've been trying to take it easy. But last night we had a family dinner, which was so lovely, so lovely. However, when you go out to eat with people, you tend to be out later than my wind down routine typically begins. So that was strike one. Strike two, I asked the people at the restaurant if they could make my food vegan. So I said, no yogurt, no dairy products, nothing like that. They said, I got you. They bring me my meal, I'm eating it, I'm sensing something. So we asked them, was there butter or something put in this? And they said, oh yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling like death. It's past my bedtime. My intestines are having a party. Then we're leaving, it's pouring rain. Wind is bananas. And we're this close to getting home. And I see someone's wallet on the floor. I think that's fine, I'll find their ID, I'll find them online, I'll give it to them. As I'm trying to look through their wallet to find a phone number or something, I find out that they're a refugee and they have no social media. So it's like almost 9 p.m., there's a storm afoot. We then embark back into the city to try and bring the wallet to the police and the police can find the person and they can have all their paperwork and money, etc. Police station's closed, strike three. Luckily, as we're walking home in defeat, we run into a police car, we gave the wallet to the cop. It's gonna be fine. But I came home looking like this. I was so cold, soaked to the bone, past my bedtime. My guts are screaming. I get no sleep. I'm feeling terrible. It's just a disaster is the theme. And guess what? It's my first day of school. <laughs> So I take intensive Dutch courses. This is like the collegiate level wrapping up B2. If I pass this, I can legally say I'm a Dutch speaker. I could go to college in Dutch. Like it is gonna be so much. And my body is a chewed up and spit out piece of gum, but we're gonna go anyway. I put on the most sensory friendly, comfy things I could find. Got the t-shirt in the back, kind of boost my confidence, boost my spirits. That's the current state of affairs. Let's go <laughs> to school. <laughs> did it. I did it. I learned things. I'm already back. I've already washed my face. I've already given up on this day. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do now is just kick back and get some reading done because my head hurts. 
my body hurts, my spirit hurts. What I'm reading now is Grocery Shopping with My Mother, which is a collection of poetry by the author Kevin Powell. I absolutely love the cover of this one. So nice, so nice. And then, because I am now in level five of Dutch, I thought it would be a good idea to pick up a Dutch language book. I have still yet to read a book in Dutch. This is I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jeanette McCurdy. I don't know, we'll see. My brain is tired. I don't know how much of this I'm gonna be able to devour, but I really just wanna sit in quiet and recharge my spoons. That's where I'm at. This has been an update. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. It's a new day. I'm feeling a little bit better. It's another day of ripping my own shirts. This is my favorite one. I have class today. I would also really like to go to the gym afterwards because when I go to the gym, my overall health is just so much better. My mood is happier. My sleep is better. So we're gonna pack some gym clothes. We're gonna do a little gym moment after learning. We also have some errands we need to run. I gotta go to the drugstore and get some makeup y stuff. I gotta go to the package free organic crunchy store to get my flat seeds and stuff like that and I need to go to the regular mini grocery store so that I've got enough oat milk to make my latte. Speaking of which, my espresso extraction this morning was literally perfect. It was perfectly in the middle. I kind of have proof. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jennifer Coolidge, I want a hot dog real bad, but you saw it. It was perfectly in the middle, I swear. <laughs> and so I'm gonna take that as a sign that today is gonna be exquisite. Like that's a good sign. That's about it. Oh no, it's not. I told you yesterday <laughs> about my poetry collection that I started and my Jeanette McCurdy reread, but in Dutch. But I forgot to mention, that Adiba Shahirdar has a book club sort of situation or like a buddy read moment for Honey and Issues Guide to Fake Dating, which is a book that's been on my TBR for a little bit. On her Instagram, she broke down like which chapters to read when, and then there's gonna be a live stream. I doubt my time zone is gonna allow me to participate, but I'm gonna safely assume that she's gonna keep the live stream on her Instagram so that I can participate later. This is a, I wouldn't say an enemies to lovers, but I believe it's like opposites attract, fake dating, cute YA time. And I loved The Henna Wars by the same author. So I'm just so excited to have a great time. This is my sack. I'm gonna go to class. I'm gonna run my many errands. Come home. I have a small writing assignment that I have to do. But then I think we can just relax and read. I think that sounds great. Let's do it. The gym is nothing. The real workout is in carrying all of your groceries home from multiple stops. Oh my goodness gracious me. Anyway, you can't see me. Hello, I'm so sweaty. <sighs> it's fine. Should we do a quick grocery haul? Cause I got so lucky. I genuinely hit the jackpot today. Strawberries have been a hyper fixation food lately. I eat them every morning for breakfast. They were half off. Amazing. You know what else was half off? These vegan cordon blues from the brand Greenway. These are so good. These are so good. I also found these vegan Gouda nuggets. I mean, sounds good to me. I also got some little asparagus babies. Fry these up with some garlic with the cordon bleu. So delicious. I made this about a week ago. It got a little dangerous. I'm not going over there. <laughs> but it was fire. And I've been looking forward to making it again ever since. We got our Oatly's, got my flax seeds for my morning granola bowl, got some pecans, and then I was gonna get hemp seeds, but they were out. But I didn't know that they were out, so I already grabbed a bag. And then I didn't wanna waste it, so I just filled it with something else. So I got a few pieces of dried apricots. I've never had a dried apricot before, but I'm just gonna safely assume that they slap. Hmm. Yeah, they slap. Like a fruit roll up for adults. Hell yeah. Serendipitous. Let's see if I still got it. No. That's okay, we don't have to get everything the first try, right? Just try again. Eating food off the floor is fine. You just blow the cat hair off and try again. <laughs> Anyway, tea, throat comfort for if you're feeling sick. Women's energy, which is basically hibiscus and ginger, which is such a good combination. Speaking of good combinations, I got moon salutation. Never tried this before, but it has eucalyptus, hibiscus, and lemon balm. So that's what I got today. It was very heavy. I'm so tired, but we did all the things. We went to school, we went to the gym, which was delightful by the way. Went to all the grocery stores. I cannot wait to shower. I'm so nasty. Thank you for tuning in to Girl Finds Some Sick Deals. <laughs> Let's make some food.
Hi, people. Third day of class of the week, which means tomorrow is our last day of class of the week. We're halfway there. I read some poetry yesterday. I also started a couple chapters of Honey and Ishu's Guide to Fake Dating. This is giving chronically readable young adult, cute but with big themes kind of book. Really liking it so far. And I'm really determined to finish my first Dutch chapter book. I did the math and I believe I have to read like 10 pages a day-ish to finish this in time for this class to be over. You know me, your girl loves to read, but reading in my second language stresses me out. That's where we're at. We're back at it. We're back on the grind. The vlogs might be a little bit repetitive, but that's okay. Life is repetitive. It's all about taking each day as it comes and finding what you can enjoy and the little stuff. You know how it goes. I'm gonna go to class and then I'm gonna go to the library for a little bit to get some studying done. And then I have an appointment with the used bookstore to see if they want any of my old books. That's Wednesday. <laughs> An angel, never a god. Always an angel, never a god. Always an angel. <laughs> Scotty cries at the end of Christmas and at the end of New Year's and at the end of Halloween and sometimes at the end of a normal day. <laughs> Me too, Scotty. Last night I made the most picturesque grilled cheese I've ever seen in my entire life. Watched some Lizzie McGuire, hit the hay at a decent hour, and now it's the next day. <laughs> I'm currently cooking up a storm because I realize I have no leftovers and if I don't have a warm lunch, I will cease to exist. Genuinely, eating something warm during that break in school is what keeps me sane. So I'm just whipping up some penne and some tomatoes, gonna make some kind of sauce of some kind. I have no idea what's happening. Throw some rosemary in there just to get a little fancy. How dare I try and do the right thing? There's more than one teacher for this class. And one of the teachers that I have, I am just not compatible with their teaching style at all. So frustrating, because I just want to learn. And then the bus was over half an hour late. I'm exhausted <laughs> and I am annoyed and I'm in a terrible mood. I have the worst attitude. I have so much to do and I'm trying to have a positive mindset. I'm trying to not panic. I'm trying to not be overwhelmed. And I'm trying to enjoy my time. It's done is the point. The point is that it's done. We did the whole week of classes. We didn't miss a day. But at what cost? <laughs> I wanted to go to Brussels. One, I wanted to go to Waterstones just because I have that tenor on my customer card. But also I thought it'd be a fun way to be like, look at you, you did all your classes. Now we can sit in a bookstore as a reward. I'm trying to implement that philosophy where instead of saying I have to do this, you say I get to do this. But sometimes when it all aligns and stacks on top of each other and it's all due at once, it can feel overwhelming. Now I get to do some designs this weekend. I get to read this weekend. It's already working. I already feel it, the weight lifting off my shoulders. I get to work in my beautiful little office and I get to learn a second language. I'm lucky enough to have all of these things. Am I doing together? Yes. I get to go to Brussels now. I get to go to Waterstones for my job. Life is good. Everything is great. I also get to be annoyed that the bus was 30 minutes late, okay? <laughs> And that's that. Those are some moments from my life from the past week or two. I've been struggling a bit adjusting to everything, so I appreciate you being here. Give me some accountability, kept my feet on the ground. We did do some light reading throughout this vlog, but didn't yet finish anything. So, no mini reading review today, but 
thankfully for you, if you care. Next week, we'll be doing a reading review of everything that was read in April. A nice sit down bookish chat. It'll be great. Speaking of bookish chats, I struck gold at Waterstones. I found so many things I was looking for. So many great books that are on my TBR. I'm so excited. So we'll just have to be doing a book haul, right? We have to. I hope that sounds nice. Friendly reminder before I take off. The pre-orders for the limited edition snail shirts, spring launch, party extravaganza, palooza special are open for the next few weeks. If you'd like one, it's a great way to get something soft. Donate to a seller charity and keep this cozy corner of the internet alive. But if you still want to support this cozy corner of the internet, but the shirts aren't for you, that's totally fine. Because the kind folks at patreon.com are the sole reason that I'm able to create for the internet.com in the way that I do. So endlessly grateful for all y'all there. We have a book club, printable bookmarks, funky fresh downloadables, a fun discord where we share our pets and food and more. It's a great time. No pressure to do any of the things <laughs> because simply being here is support enough. Thank you for tuning in to Girl Tries Her Best. <laughs> I'm gonna get going so I can edit this for y'all and send it out to the void. I hope the void is treating you well and if it's not, I hope you're treating yourself well. Your best is your best and the rest. And as always, thank you for clicking, thank you for caring, and thank you for being nice. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!